Hi, my name is Church Haley, and this is Megan Chavatua. Hello. And we're here with HalloweenMakeup.com, showing you how to apply the Wuchi Ork Ears. I'm just going to take some 99% isopropyl alcohol and take any oil off the area that I'm going to be applying the prosthetic. Now, you'll notice this edge here has kind of got a scalloped edge and the straight lines attract the eye. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors I'm going to cut away some of that. We're just going to take Prozade glue adhesive. It's water-based glue and I'm going to see where that Ear. First, I'm going to see where that ear sits on her, and I'm going to put glue on her ear there. I can put that down because it's not sticky yet. It doesn't get sticky until it starts to dry and become tacky. I'm just going to use a hair dryer to get the prostate dry. Uh, you can tell when it's dry when it goes clear instead of white. I'm going to take a little bit of latex and we're going to go around each of these edges. But first I'm going to get the other ear on. I'll figure out where the ear is laying and then I will have a little powder there. We want it to completely encompass the bottom of the ear. So and then I'm going to go in here and put the prosade in all the places that the powder isn't. And now I'm just going to run the hair dryer on this. You don't want to get it in your hair because it can get a little gummy. Now I'll just take the second ear, slip it on like a glove, and if you do end up sticking the ear down in a place that you don't want it, you can use a little bit of alcohol to get it up if it's being stubborn and doesn't want to come up. Because I want to show the full potential of this prosthetic, I'm going to show you how to hide this little edge right here. I'm going to stipple latex over it, but I'm also going to kind of scrape some latex up against it, and that is to hide the line. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this thick latex I've got here and scrape it up this direction. So you're going to fill that gap between the ear and the prosthetic. I'm going to take a Q-tip and wipe away what's on the top surface there. Then take the torn up stipple sponge we've made and you're going to stipple in a little bit more latex there. Now you notice the edge doesn't look super hidden because I've got flesh colored latex and natural colored latex together. But we're going to color all of this afterwards and it's going to just look like part of her head. So now I'm going to take a little bit of Skin Illustrator, Darth Moss. This is an excellent, nice organic shading color. So I'm just going to go in all the deep spots of this ear real quick. Kind of add a flesh tone in. Now we've got the ears ready to rock and I'm ready to color out the rest of this character. Thanks for watching. All the products we use today are listed below. Be sure to visit us at HalloweenMakeup.com and share this with your friends. Bye!